In this video, we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of NATO MBTs as compared to Russian tanks. In the past, the analysis seems to be irrelevant, like there was no confrontation of tanks against each other. But recently in the Ukraine war, Western MBTs are fighting against the Russian advanced tanks. First, we look at the advantages of NATO armor. Firstly, the armor employed by NATO forces surpasses that of its Russian counterparts, exemplified by the formidable protection featured in MBTs like the Abrams Leopard Challenger. Specifically, the Abrams tank is fortified with layers of depleted uranium, enhancing its defensive capabilities. This advanced armor not only provides superior protection against various types of threats, but also significantly contributes to the heightened level of crew survivability, making NATO tanks, including the Abrams, formidable assets on the modern battlefield. Similarly, the shell protection in NATO tanks exceeds that of Russian counterparts, exemplified by the incorporation of blast doors designed to shield the crew from ammunition explosions in the event of a fire. In contrast, many Russian tanks utilize an auto-loader system equipped with a 22 shell magazine, often accompanied by minimal protective measures. Consequently, when a Russian tank sustains a hit, it frequently leads to a sudden and catastrophic explosion, propelling the turret into the air. Instances of such incidents have been documented on numerous occasions, highlighting a notable vulnerability in the design and defensive capabilities of certain Russian tank models. Another notable advantage lies in the superior situational awareness of Western tanks compared to their Russian counterparts, with a few exceptions such as the T-90M and T-80 BVM. However, a significant drawback is observed in the majority of Russian armor, including the T-72 and its upgraded variants as well as older models like the T-55, T-62. These tanks exhibit subpar sights and fire control systems, impairing their ability to effectively navigate the battlefield and engage targets with precision. The Western tanks, by contrast, leverage advanced technologies to enhance situational awareness, providing a distinct edge in terms of strategic positioning, target acquisition, and overall battlefield awareness. In the realm of mobility, Western tanks consistently outperform their Russian counterparts. Despite the heavier weight of NATO main battle tanks compared to Russian tanks, the former are equipped with superior engines and transmissions, resulting in enhanced reverse speed capabilities. It's essential to recognize that mobility extends beyond the dynamics of tank movement on the battlefield. It encompasses the entire spectrum, including the transportation of tanks to the battlefield. While the overall mobility of NATO tanks may appear to be constrained by their weight, their advanced engineering ensures commendable reverse speed, underscoring a nuanced and multifaceted assessment of their mobility capabilities compared to Russian armor. Turning our attention to the drawbacks of NATO tanks, the primary limitation, as mentioned earlier, pertains to the challenges associated with transporting these main battle tanks due to their substantial weight. One noteworthy scenario that accentuates this drawback is the occurrence of Rasputitsa in Ukraine. During this period, the ground undergoes a significant softening, rendering it unsuitable for the efficient movement of heavy armor. Yet another drawback associated with these tanks is their elevated unit costs and higher maintenance expenses when contrasted with Russian tanks. To illustrate, the unit cost of the Leopard 2A7 ranges between 14 to 17 million dollars, a figure significantly surpassing the unit price of the T-90M, which stands at 5 million dollars apiece. Likewise, alongside the elevated procurement costs, NATO tanks also incur higher maintenance expenses when juxtaposed with their Russian counterparts. This dual financial challenge stems from the intricacy of the advanced technologies integrated into NATO tank systems, contributing to increased complexity and costs associated with maintenance. The intricate nature of these cutting-edge technologies demands specialized expertise and sophisticated equipment for upkeep, resulting in higher maintenance figures. Conversely, Russian tanks, while possibly featuring less sophisticated systems, often benefit from a simpler design, which can translate to lower maintenance costs. 